Hey guys, so we're on to the last question of the NBT uh, example questions. So question 10 says an amount of a thousand rand is invested at an annual interest rate of 6%. Interest is compounded quarterly, so every three months. And then after five years, the investment in rands will be worth how much? All right, so we are going to use the compound growth formula, which is principal amount is equal to 1 plus interest to the power of n. Okay, so I is the interest rate, n is um, the term, so the years. Okay, so important to note, when is the interest compounded? So here it's quarterly. Quarterly represents 4. It's going to affect your interest or your I, and it's going to affect the N. Oops. N is also going to be times by 4. So how does it affect I and N in this formula? With I, you're going to divide by the 4, and with N, you're going to multiply by the 4. If this word over here was uh, half yearly, for example, or semi-annually, then you would use the number 2. Then I would be divided by 2 and N would be multiplied by 2. But we're using 4 here. Alright, so let's fill in whatever we know. We know that... Whoops, I think I've just ruined the formula there. Let me fix it. Okay, so that looks better. 1 plus uh, interest is 0, 0, 0,06. That represents 6% over 4 to the power of n times 4. The n is 5, and then it's going to be times 4. Let's simplify this. Now, in this bracket, I'm going to show you how to simplify this. Uh, that's going to be 5 times 4, so it's going to be to the power of 20. Can you see that your answer is going to look like either A or C? Because it's to the power of 20. So B, which is to the power of 15, and D, which is to the power of 5, they will cancel. We're not uh, interested in those ones. So here is the difference between A and C. Okay. Is it going to be 1.015 or 1.03 in the bracket? Well, if we think smart about this, we won't have to work out what 0 0.06 divided by 4 is. If we were given that this is compounded um, semi-annually, so if in the bracket it was 1 plus 0, 0, 0,06 divided by 2, would you be able to work that out? That's much easier. 1 plus, and then remember this is all without a calculator, so we're looking for the easiest way to solve this and the quickest way. Um, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So it would give you a final answer of 1, 0, 0,03. If this was for semi-annually, okay? And that's what C, <laughs> that's what C says. But we're not working with semi-annual, we are working with quarterly. So, yes, the answer is A, but why is it A? It's not 0, 0, 0,03, which represents semi-annual. It is half of 0, 0, 0,03, which is what? 0, so 0, 0, 0,03, 0 is the same as 0, 0, 0,03. What is half of 30? 15. So, yeah, we're going to add a 1 to that. Remember, this whole thing was 1 plus. So 
So 1.015, that's how you get quarterly. Why did I divide it by two? Again, because semi-annual, we divided by two. And then to get quarterly, I again divided by two. So instead of dividing this whole thing by four, I first divided it by two, got an answer, and then divided by another two to get the final answer so that it's easier without a calculator. So, yep, that is the final answer. And where is it? It is A.